experimenting with alchemy. I'm one of the insane people in the community of this game that uh, does a lot of experiments. All right, so what the hell are we doing now, though? Oh, yeah, I was going to do that. I need to find, like, a bloodlust. Um, I guess we're just looking for some spells, and I need vacuum field. I need bloodlust. I need a boomerang, maybe, or I could just probably use that. Let me turn on music. Let's put on some... Um... Uh, some dude guy bromance. His latest stuff, again, with this and with mm, this. That's basically the video that I make on the cheater's ring is going to like show all of the the content you can access with it. All the animals in the walls, the animals in the walls, all their dialogue, the songs or whatever, like all their dialogue. And then warnings about the cheat bunnies and buttons. And then I guess I'll purposefully corrupt my save just to show what it looks like. <laughs> And then maybe give some theories about some stuff. Actually, let me... Oh yeah, I don't have Tinker with Wands everywhere yet. That's stupid. That's dumb. The... That... Wait, the... The TB monkey. <laughs> of course. Why? Thank you for the Prime sub. Yes, yes, yes! Nice name. <laughs> Welcome. And good cough, thank you. I don't know if you're still here, but yeah. So I, I'll probably, hopefully be streaming again on Wednesday, but if not, I'll be streaming soon. Nice. Oh yeah, I don't have melee immunity yet. We have a ton of HP though. I don't have fire immunity. So we're looking for like bloodlust or hopefully piercing, that would be nicer. And then, um, whoops. Damage. I'll take that for now. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Oh yeah, that's right. I. Let's kill the master of masters. We're gonna drown his ass when, with swamp, because we lucked out. And we actually found the summon swamp spell in the eye room, which is crazy. But I just gotta find where I dropped that. I think it's in the next holy mountain. Maybe not this one. Yeah. This one's infected or infested with Heesey. And infected. I killed the dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to start like really theory crafting some some animal well lore. I haven't put in too much thought into it yet, for the most part. Mm. I should probably not take too much damage yet either. I don't technically have a great way of healing myself. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Oh my god, you can't even. What? Oh my. What the heck? This one's sucky. 116. Damn, dude. Uh, alright. We gotta fix this. We need a better wand. I guess we're gonna use that. Oh well. Goodbye. Um. And I want Gamma. All right, so we have infinite swamp. Those, the rest of those, we'll keep there for now, and then I'm gonna keep these on me. At least we only, we don't need all of them. Just that. 
Yeah, we need a lot of stuff. This is still the a baby run. Baby. Alright. I don't want to dig through the walls over here, actually. Because that's where I'm going to be building, and I don't want to have, like, random black hole tunnels through where I'm going to be building my base. So we'll go down. Over here. Nice. <laughs> if I could find a uh, weakening, weakening curse explosion, we have weakening curse projectile. But if I could find the explosion version, what's for Pete's sake? So dumb. <laughs> then I could make myself heal to, to explosion damage as well. Ow. Can you stop hitting me, please? I don't like you. Stop it. Nice. What was on here? Plasma. Interesting. Uh, we also have Circle of Acid, but we're going to drown him in Swamp. Um... Why is there so much dripping down? Stop it. Have any <clears throat> have any of you played uh the anniversary edition of Braid? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I want freeze charge. I guess I don't need this. All right. Um, no, thank you. Jeez. I haven't played Braid since, I think, like, almost when it first came out, or just a long time ago. I remember, like, pretty much all of it. Maybe not, like, specific puzzle solutions or whatever, but it is one of the greats. And it it's not like a long game. You could play through it pretty quickly, even though the, the anniversary edition has... God damn it. Uh, new areas or new levels or whatever, new stages. You haven't ever even played it? I recommend it. It's really good. And it has a has a nice uh very nice twist and story pretty much. much fire. There'd be so much fire in this game. Forty? There's four? I thought a few. There's forty? That's insane. <laughs> okay. Forgot I don't have any immunities. Okay, that might take a little bit more time to get through. <sighs> well, we'll grab that eventually. I hope.
How many levels were in the original? Uh, I think it was less than 40. Maybe not. I don't remember it being very long. Or it, it's not like a very difficult game or puzzly. There, there are a few that were kind of stump that typically stump you for a bit, but I think I played through it in like a single evening when I first played it. Maybe. Could be making that up, but I'm pretty sure it was just like one night. Oh my god, die. Alright, I just want to make sure that poly immunity does not... Mm. Oh my god, so much fire. I also don't want to kill all of these, but definitely don't want to kill all of the poly mages. So... Might as well grab this. Because I need to use at least one polymage for my farm. If I could, I might want to use more than one actually to do it faster. But hopefully there are more polymages closer to the top of this area. Looks like 38. Wow, that's crazy. So there's 40 new levels, and that's even more than the original had total. I started it up, and let me just start it up real quick. I don't remember it looking... Like, I'm pretty sure they redid all the graphics, right? It looks really nice. It's very... Like, look at that animation. Look at that hair animation. It's named Tim. I think you play as Tim. I don't remember this. I don't know. It's been a long time, though. Yeah. So I want to play this soon. Maybe we'll... Sneak in a little bit after a little bit of Noita. All right. Just have to make some good progress. All right. So we have, hey, plenty of HP. We're just going to drown his ass. Hopefully we don't have any. Kill, kill all the mages we can, especially these guys. All right, and then we just want to drown him in swamp. Can you not do that? That was not that was not nice. I'm going to drown your ass in swamp. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Where am I? All right. Let's make sure we just spam this stuff everywhere. Where even is he? Oh, he's down there. I cannot breathe underwater, so I'm gonna just hide right here while you die slowly. Maybe I should hit him a little bit. <laughs> or I could just like... I'll try to pick away at a, a few of these. All right. Let's 
Is that a red one? Yeah. Oops. <clears throat> I think there's overlap between the original and the new levels. Ah. Um. All right. That's crazy. That's... I didn't think it was that many more. Uh, I mean, I already said that, but... I figured, you know, 10 maybe? 10 extra levels? Stages, whatever. But 40 doubling the length of the original game? That's crazy. Play some Braid while he drowns? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just afraid that I'm going to drown. This is Noita. AFKing in Noita is not a good idea. I sort of doubt developer like that would be lazy. I know, yeah. Jonathan Blow seems like an absolute madman. If you've ever seen Indie Game the movie, just... The way he is in that movie, just the way he like is standing and just typing code, and he's, he seems like a robot. In a good way, I guess. Not a bad way. <laughs> but he seems like a total, like, he is very eccentric. He... What the hell, man? Very eccentric, very talented developer or programmer. I mean, what kind of what kind of non-eccentric creates an entire programming language because he feels like C++ and any existing programming languages are not efficient enough for making his next game. It's like, I'm going to make my own programming language to make my next game because none of these languages that already exist are like good enough for game design or like making games. <laughs> so but his next game I'm really excited because Braid is great and The Witness is great but his next game doesn't look right now everything I've seen of it it doesn't look very interesting for the most part to me but then again isles of sea and sky just came out and that game is a like a soko sokoban block pu block pushing puzzle game and that game's great um but maybe because his next game jonathan blow's next game looks like like a sokoban block pushing pushing puzzle game and after The Witness, I was expecting something, I don't know, a little more than that, but there probably will be a lot more than that. that all this water doesn't screw this up. Why is there so much just regular water? Ow. I mean, if it does, then whatever. It's fine. But I mean, stop being stuck on everything.
You're dead. I win. Haha. -ha. <laughs> okay. So that sucks. I forgot. I guess we don't need this. I guess I don't need the pollen yet. There are things that I really want. I guess I could come back for some of this. Plasma. I'm, I want the plasma cutter because I want to make this wand build for, for building purposes. Uh... Do I need... Eh. Alright. Okay, what do I need more? Trigger or... Well, we have both. Trigger and expiration. Alright. Sweet. I... I think I started playing the looker and then stopped. Back when it came out. I'm gonna make my own chip architecture with blackjack and hookers. Oh. <laughs> the dude who made Odin is also kind of like that, but not as controversial with their opinions. Yeah, that's another thing. He has controversial op opinions and political beliefs, but, you know. I think most. Well. Yeah. Anyway. Ow. Let's get out of here without getting polyed. Oh, yeah, I don't have. Hate you. Two hundred HP. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, I looked it up, but uh, they're possible, but I don't know them by heart. Oh, you know what? Since we're in this situation. Well, all right. I think there's a seam. Yeah, there is. It's right here. Nice. Well, I'm sort of. All right. Huh. I need, uh, I guess we're going to use that. I need water, but. Because there's so much fire everywhere and I don't have any water flask now because I dropped it. Blood. There's plenty of blood. Oh, I have this. Should be using that dummy. from the depths. Oh, I hate you. Yeah. Right. 
All right, so we need to isolate a mage. Let me just get someplace somewhat safe. Oof, don't wanna. Yes, I have that now. All right. Do, 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 do. Current world record animal well seems to be 329. I gotta watch that. Is this the same alchemy run from a few weeks ago or something broken you recently? It's a new one. Um, so this is the third attempt. The first one was like 100 hours long and then the epilogue 2 update came out and I had to restart because everything broke and a bunch of new stuff was added. And then the when I restarted, uh, I did a plastic run where I shifted a bunch of stuff to plastic and like it showed that you can crash the game and all this stuff. And then Petri fixed that by adding new new kinds of plastic that don't lag out the game. And when that was added, uh, the second one, we were only, we didn't get too far into it. You know, it was only like 20 hours maybe. And then I had to restart. So this is the hopefully... Hopefully the last attempt, and I could just keep this one going for a very long time and do everything that I need to do. Please, that would be great. If I don't die right now. The chain gun. It's going well. I just switched to it from uh, Animal Well. Basically, just went, killed the Master of Masters to get this to be able to tinker. And then uh, lost most of my HP. And now we're trying to get out of here without killing myself. Just want to grab. Uh, Trying to think of like what I want to do exactly right now. Because we only have 230 HP. If I throw this wand to an enemy, they're going to like rapid fire empty it into me and it does 40 damage a hit, but it also he the heals stack. So I'm like, are the heals gonna overwhelm the damage from it? Or am, or am I gonna die? Because I don't have any... Uh, maybe we'll try to find some Ambrosia first and then I think that would be probably the smart thing to do. <laughs> Rather than just like testing like, gee, I wonder if 
if I'm gonna die by trying to get healed with this. No, not in this run. Normally I would do it for science, but not in this. Not in this one. If I have Ambrosia, you gotta be smart. We have Null Shot. <laughs> Wait. But that's gonna make it... I don't know. Will it still heal me if I put Null Shot on it? I don't... I'm not sure. It's actually a pretty nice wand, huh? Well, we're gonna get tower wands anyway. Alright, let me... Stop shooting yourself, please. I'm sorry. I have a shield, I know. Can you please not drown in the body of your fallen comrade? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, it's the poison guy. A normal bullet, normal bullet guy like you. All right, all right, crisis averted. Thank you. Eating. <laughs> no back eating, please. Don't worry, we're gonna do all the things over the course of a year. Everything possible to be done, don't worry. This is a very slow paced, very long run. No back eating. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if it was gonna heal me. But that's good that it does, because I was starting to get a little worried. Especially after the poison guy took off even more of my HP. Now we can look in here for some spells. Uh, let's start at the top so I don't get polyed or something by whatever. I'm looking for piercing. I'm looking for... We got plenty of room now. Let me... Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that the, I didn't die right there. Listen, stop it. What was on here? Yeah, that was the null shot. The null shot was a nice, nice find. Came in clutch. Perfect timing. I'm totally eating in the back. After 30 seconds... Wait, after 30, your back just starts eating? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know that. <laughs> um, I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Like, because Null Shot removes all damage, and healing in this game is a kind of damage. So, it's good that it... It's good that it worked. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so piercing... Uh, boomerang, maybe. 
summon wall, summon platform, vacuum field. I need long distance casts, but we're gonna have to go to probably meat realm for that. Long distance cast doesn't spawn on wands unless it's an always cast, which is very rare, but. You also can't get, you can only get long distance cast in a chest, in a utility crate, in holy mountains, in the eye room and in, uh, I think that's all of them. Or from the gate, the boss, the triangle boss. So, really wanting long, multiple long distance casts means like, could take a while to get everything that I need. It's an interesting always cast on a fast wand. Doesn't it just register the healing as negative damage? Hang on. I've got... For some reason... I don't know how... But, like, I had, like, these almonds with wasabi and seasoning on them. And there's, like, seasoning all over my desk somehow. That's why I don't like eating on stream. Usually. I just starve to death. <laughs> all right. Oh, whoops. Um... Oh yeah, I need some kind of... I'm gonna get rid of that for now. Um, I should have kept the flask. <laughs> Bomb cart. They make a very satisfying sound when you kill them, but man, the blob enemy is just so, it's such a good enemy because it's the most annoying thing in the entire game. <laughs> just the way they fly at you and everything. I should probably take one of these other ones. Six degrees spread. We'll find a better one. Biggest piece of shit. They're real annoying. But that's the thing, though. If you have the eye, I mean, I could kill them easily with this. Early game, they're really, really annoying. They're annoying now, too, without melee immunity, just flying up to you and drop kicking you around, especially if there's a bunch of them. But if early game, the eye is actually really good to kill them. They just fly right into that. You're just like, Bleh. it's like one of the best ways early on with your typical, you know, early game wands that aren't good at killing them. How do I reach alternate universes in Noita? Is that still in the game? Yep, it totally is. You just go all the way right or all the way left. When you hit a wall, you got to dig through it with something like Luminous Drill, Black Holes, uh, this plasma. But typically, you want to use fast black holes. And then uh, there's Cursed Rock. The Cursed Rock does damage in contact and in the place where it is, or like the vicinity of it. It's got an aura, a damage aura. So even if you don't touch it, you're still gonna take damage. So people use, uh, either you have a lot of HP and you just tank the damage, or you use Ambrosia. So if you find Ambrosia, then definitely hold on to it. Unless you, unless you have healing also, like really good infinite healing. But the easiest way is just, you know, having fast black holes with like at least one speed up, maybe accelerating shot, just like, whoosh, and then uh, some ambrosia.
You're welcome. You are welcome. <clears throat> Have I fought Sakoma yet? Which boss is Sakoma? That doesn't that doesn't look familiar. I'm looking for some spells. This is a, like a, a year-long run we're going to do. Or as long as I can possibly do it. Maybe longer than a year. Depending on game updates. And uh, it's not about boss fighting. This is, this is the alchemy run. Where I'm going to be collecting every single material in the game. Building a base, like a, a laboratory to uh, house all these materials. And doing experiments with them because... We need to, uh... There's a lot that we don't know about the material interactions in the game. And, like, yellow slime. Lots of, lots of interesting things that even, you know, that are not listed in the materials XML if you data mine and you read all of the reactions that exist. There are some reactions that are not in there and there might be secret reactions beyond, besides that. And also... Learning how the entire game works improves the way you play it. So, the current year of my life in Noita is dedicated to learning everything I can possibly learn about the material system in the game to improve my gameplay and maybe the community's gameplay. Understanding more about how certain things function that way. Yeah. Secret materials. I don't think there's secret materials, but there are a lot of materials we know about that we don't, that are not accessible outside of great treasure chests, but there might be ways to make them. You know, one of the previously really rare materials out, like, a rare fungal shift is pea soup, but now we know how to make pea soup by just freezing slime and having it melt naturally in a hot environment. It melts into pea soup. And then, like, freezing toxic sludge and then having the toxic sludge melt naturally. If you, if you melt it, it doesn't do this. You need to let it melt in the desert or next to the lava lake or something. And then toxic sludge melts into greed-cursed liquid. <clears throat> and there's a bunch of other very interesting things that not many people know that I'll say like less than 10 people know in the entire uh, community just because like most of us in the community through all the years whatever have focused mainly on like wand building and learning everything we can learn about wand building but there's so much more to learn so many things that I can like rattle off right now talking about just random shit that like a lot of it's not very the most useful things but we might find some very useful things and also you know people like me I care about every little thing like this is the only way you can get yellow slime is from these things when these break they produce yellow slime, and that's the only way you can get it. And then uh, each mountain, each starting mountain, has a few pixels of salt in it, has a few pixels of, of cement in it, and has three pixels of liquid smoke. And that's the only way you can get liquid smoke. And you can... You can dig right to underneath, like, one... It's one little pixel of liquid smoke right here. And uh, in the mountain, in the starting mountain, every one of the mountains in Parallel Worlds too, And you can dig up right underneath it, hold a flask through the ground, and flask just that one pixel. Nice. And then you can shift that, potentially. And if you shift it into another material, that you could, you know, use... Uh, it's a liquid. It reacts with air, so it evaporates almost immediately in air. So you can't uh, pour it out anywhere. You have to get just one pixel in a flask. Use Mimicium. Like, put Mimicium in that flask. Then you'll have a full flask of it. 
but you don't even need a full flask of it. Try to shift it, and it's this material, the rocket material, when you levitate. So, like, we've already known you can shift magical liquid into uh, other things in order to change the color of your shield and stuff. Spark. You can get spark and shift that to change the color of some spells, etc. <clears throat> but now we can change the color of our levitation trail as well, and all the he see, all of their levitation trails. Stuff like that. I'm really, really interested in all that. Um, I don't think I need that. There's just so much that uh, we walk past every day playing this game, like the shotgunner enemies, you know, the shotgunner and the glue enemies, the glue he see. Every time they shoot, a single pixel of red plastic gets shot off of them, like a clip or not a clip, like a, a shell. And you could you could uh, collect that plastic in a bag and then uh, shift that or melt it into like this hot pink molten plastic and then shift that you know just fun i like learning about all the materials so that's what this run is completely dedicated to and i guess like the majority of my time playing noita for the foreseeable future is going to be dedicated to this so Uh, hey, I don't have Wands Command. I don't use mods for most of my runs. Um, but we'll take a quick little break. It's basically just Ping Pong Path Lumi. I'm not really using anything yet. I don't have anything built yet. Interesting. I need to find a leggy mimic. So I need piercing, I need summon wall, summon platform, I need vacuum field, I need liquid vacuum field, I need powder vacuum field. I need a lot of spells that you typically don't really use much of. For like alchemy related reasons. Damn it. need like three long distance casts. I need a lot. There's a lot that I need for spell wise. Not too. Oh, I need every flask to stop breaking, but this is a bad place for that. I need vacuum field in order to like normal vacuum field in order to start working on my laboratory. Pretty much. I need horizontal path and uh, the uh, linear path as well. How can I use plasma beam cross without killing myself? Make sure you put it on a, a trigger far away from you. <laughs> I don't, you know, plasma beam cross is cool, but I, I prefer just using like this with like a homing or short range homing on a trigger or a timer. You know, if you just do like short range homing or homing with just this, that's plenty of plasma to kill everything. Um, plasma beam cross early game is just like, you know, if you can't find any any other plasma, sure. But 
eventually if you get one of one of these that's why i'm trying to find a piercing right now so that i could uh trigger the uh weakening weakening trick and that'll allow me to heal every time i get hit with projectile damage and plasma is projectile damage um so then you could heal yourself using plasma but it's not really the best way. This this is the best way to heal yourself. But I'm trying to. That was interesting. Hmm. Hey, Fresh Topia. What's up? How you doing? I tried using trigger and one tap myself. Yeah. Plasma beam cross is fairly deadly. <laughs> gotta be real careful. You gotta be real careful with any plasma, but plasma beam cross especially. It's spicy. I need Deer Koi for my eventual travel wand. So much that I need. Gold is not really one of the things I need. We'll just go to a gold room or two. Uh, I, I need to get all those bags eventually, but I don't have enough arms to carry everything in. But... I guess, you know collecting all the materials in the game, I'm going to need a lot of flasks, a lot of pouches. Of course, we're getting not the greatest luck finding things. One of my last runs, I had to go to like five, six parallel worlds in order to find Vacuum Field. I really hope that we don't have to do that in this one. <laughs> oh! Oh no. Why here? Don't die, please. I need one of you. I need to... I need you to live. I need you to live. Don't try to punch me. I need to... Very carefully... Make a pathway for him. No, whoops, wrong way. <laughs> Stop it. Here, come over here, kill me. I need you to get into the wall somewhere where I can make a little safe hole for you. A little side hole, like as Zaishio would say. Come on. This thing's totally gonna die. <laughs> Come on, over here. Over here. Come on. Come on. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't go down there. There's too much deadliness down there. Too much acid and stuff. Alright. Come on. Yeah, he's got... Oh, no, 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 Ew, that doesn't look good. Here, come... Uh. Yes, okay. Now you may proceed... No, no, no. Why are you chasing that thing? It's me you want. It's me. Yeah, punch. Punch me. Stay away from that flammable gas, please. The relocation program, yes. There's too much fire over here. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
I think it's dead. You're not dead. Okay. Maybe we should go this way, though. We shouldn't bring it through the fire area. Uh, stay over there. Where the hell's the side of the biome? I don't care. You could explode me. That's fine. Hey, stop it. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't swoop down on that thing. That's my friend. So, I want one of these. Sorry. I'm just super focused on not... Trying to save this thing's life. The ultimate... Uh... Oh my god. Son of a bitch! <laughs> we made it all the way! Ugh. <laughs> uh. I wanted it, I was going to put it in the wall over here, and then eventually when I had, like, my lab, uh, you could use it to farm a million perks. I was going to bring a perk reroll machine there with a necrobot, and you just kill it over and over, and then you can get just a million of these perks, reroll, and then they, they all become a different perk, and then you could get just whatever bunch of bunch of stuff. Oh well. Meh. Hopefully we find another one. And then we're gonna we're gonna have to drag one from a parallel world over here. Yeah. Although there's a way to we can make a wand that will teleport it with us from one world to the next. We were almost there and then that acid that acid Ruined everything. All right, let's go to a parallel world. I'm gonna go to East World One. Eh, no. <laughs> Actually, first let's go up. Let's not die from stupidity. <laughs> Man. Ah, uh, I already. Went. It's always like that, too. It's like the game removes your hope at the last second, the last possible second. It's like, oh, you thought you were going to do this? Nope. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, teleport entities with you with the very specific wand builds. I don't, I don't know how at the moment. I have to look it up again. Gotta look it up. But it's like, uh, I'm gonna be trying to drag multiple types of enemies to my, uh, like, my base when I, when I have it. Can't start really working on that yet until I get vacuum field, though. Oh, let me do this first. Uh, maybe... Let me just... The reason why I'm carrying around Toxic Sludge... Is... Let's just break it here. That's fine. I want to turn the entire uh, desert surface into Mystery Fungus. And just, like, cultivate, like, a fungal forest on the desert surface. And, uh, I should have maybe grabbed but Mystery Fungus. The recipe is, uh, let me see if I can get a little bit of, hmm. All right. 
Blit. Mystery fungus is toxic sludge, sand, and uh, fungus blood, which is just like mushroom liquid. so underpowered with no immunities i mean we got decent perks but not for like the main world having no immunities well i guess okay we got that does earth <clears throat> earthstone turns cursed rock into soil yeah but it still has that damage field around it. So you can make it so that you don't take any contact damage, but you're still going to take damage from the from the vicinity of the cursed rock, which is less, you know, the contact damage is what really hurts, but oh well. Do I want... I, I don't think I want immunities, actually. We're gonna... Only melee immunity. I'm pretty sure I want to... Uh, just use the weakening trick. For electricity... And... Uh, explosion damage, and also... Yeah, no. No angry ghost. Electricity damage, explosion damage, and projectile damage. Wow. We're going to have just heal us. So for now, I mean, maybe getting vampirism would be nice, but... Eh. We're almost ready to start healing ourselves. Nice. Now I'm going to die to getting... All right. Burn to death slowly. Have I heard about Noita tor Tournament? Yeah. Yeah, that's this. Oh, wait a minute. Was that today? Uh, I think that was today. Shit. Well, that sucks. I forgot all about it. Yeah, I was going to be taking part in it. Whoops. Just been really busy with Animal Well, too. I'll be in the next one. Forgot all about it. That sucks. Just completely forgot. The, the thing is, though, that, like, I'm not the biggest, uh, like, I want to support the community and I want to support the, the mods, mod authors. But other than that, I'm not really into Noita PvP. But, yeah, I want to support it. Shit. But my personal taste is just like, I'm not really into 
Noi to PvP, I guess. I already said that. I like PvP, but I'm I'm not really like first person shooters and stuff. And and Souls PvP I'm really into. I've spent several thousand hours playing Dark Souls 1 and 2 PvP. But the idea of PvPing in Noita does not get me excited. Really. I mean I don't know. It's just I'm not a very competitive person, so that doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've invaded everywhere and the first first Dark Souls is the one that I've played the most. Well, I guess we can break all this. It's fine. It was a waste. Oh, hey, we made diminution. Nice. <laughs> How did we make that? Interesting. The whole point of Noita is to become a giga one-shot machine. Eh. Nah. I mean, part of it, yeah. Not if you're a mad scientist. But I've played a little bit of the Noita PvP. Oh, hey, I want this. Uh, mod. And it's good. Like, like I said, like, it's just like PvP in Noita is not like the most exciting thing for me personally, because I'm not a competitive person. Like, the reason why I enjoy Souls PvP as much as I do is because I just enjoy the gameplay of that very, very much. In fact, like the Souls games, Elden Ring 2, uh, I spent like most of my time making pvp builds like i just really really enjoy making min maxed builds and then i pit them against other people but i don't know why noita like i don't know it's just the gameplay of noita being like as fast as it is i think like i would enjoy noita pvp with like much larger arenas not like really small cramped little arenas like I want you gotta hunt people down I think I would like that more but I guess like that can be done all right Dova see you later have a good one Whoop. one of my favorite pvp builds in the first dark souls was somebody who lived in... I lived in the Demon Ruins. I just invaded in Demon Ruins over and over and over again. And, uh... Which is not the greatest place to invade because it's very easy for people to just run down the stairs right into the boss arena. But I used Chameleon. It was a PvP build, like a low level, maybe like level 20-something using the Obsidian Greatsword and Chameleon. And I used Chameleon during, like I was really fast. I got really fast at like animation canceling and stuff. Um, I would use Chameleon during fights to mask what I was gonna do next, including like the big AOE from the Obsidian Greatsword. Wait, did I jump in? No, 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 okay. Let me check the, uh, right down over here. I'm kind of drawing, is this room even here in Parallel Worlds? I'm derped out right now. I don't think it is, is it? Yeah, it is. Schmack. What's up? Kementa. Yeah, I know. Nah. 
A little bit aged. A little bit whatever. Yeah, I... It was... The facial hair was, was just a stream incentive for hitting 100 subs. I was like, okay, if I hit 100 subs this month, then I'm not shaving for a month. And so I didn't shave for a month. And then one night I was just like really annoyed with it because I'm not used to having facial hair. And I shaved it all off. And then I felt bad. I was like, you know what? I kind of want to... I liked it. I like it. I, I like it and I don't like it. But so I grew it back again or I'm growing it back again. Just to... I don't know. Just to be... A little bit different than I'm used to for a bit. And I have this thing right now where I just like... I want to... I don't know. I want to Asmund Gold it. I want to kind of like not really care about my appearance. And just like caveman it. And it's growing out my hair. Growing out my facial hair. Whatever. Although I do need a haircut soon at that point where it's starting to get like okay now i need a little bit of a trim or something yeah i hope we find some of these spells we need I mean, mana is nice, but... And perks. I need telekinetic kick. I need iron stomach. Saving grace. Melee immunity. Um... Electric charge, probably. Just do a little bit of electric damage. But I'm not immune yet, so I don't want to stunlock myself into a pool of poly or something like that. All right, let's go to the. Oops. Ow. Let's go to the eye room, please. And then. I miss playing, uh, I used to play a lot of first-person shooters. I used to play a lot of Quake and Unreal Tournament and Team, Team Fortress. I really miss playing Quake. I really miss it. What's up, Powerhouse? How you doing? I, I just watched that video where Asmongold was reacting to, what, TikTokers or something? Reacting to him? When they were talking about, what the hell? When they were talking about, uh... A roach crawling across him or something? I've never really watched him. Very, very minimally. I'm glad that wasn't Polly! Hey, can you stop? Let's not do that again. That was not a good idea. Either was that. <laughs> Woo! Doing well? Nice. Good, good. How was your weekend? Did you do anything fun? Or did you just work? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like... I used to be in a Quake clan. We we played mostly Capture the Flag, but Capture the Flag and Insta Capture the Flag. So I spent a very significant amount of time uh like quick scoping. And I'm very rusty, but when I was playing Risk of Rain 2 Railgunner. All of that came back, and I was like, yes. It was so much fun. I loved playing Railgunner. Ooh, how nice. We get all of those. Hmm. 
house sitting up in Alaska right now. Nice. Hell yeah. Made about 30 chocolate chip cookies and a dozen pancakes. Sounds good. Engineer. Yeah, I I played. Whoops. Let me check the shop. I played mainly um, loader. As soon as I unlocked loader, it was like all loader all the time. Because I like grappling hooks a lot. And then uh, I was like, you know what? I told this guy powerhouse right there. It's like, I think today or next time I'm going to try railgunner. And I tried it and like immediately loved it. Everything about it. Oh, the shop is on the other side. Bruh. Nice. And I just brought all that back. All that... Come on, man. All that Quake 3 and Quake Live... Uh, Insta. Insta capture the flag in. Nice. Which... Insta capture the flag is like capture the flag, but with... Rail guns that do that instantly kill people like no no damage it's just like get a direct hit they instantly die um so it's really fast twitchy there's no shop oh okay but i preferred uh regular capture the flag because of all the other techniques you can do in quake like uh, rocket jumping and Plasma climbing. All that stuff. I miss... I miss all that. All the movement tech. Playing old school like boomer shooters, arena shooters. It's not like... Stupid. I watch people playing like Valorant or something. I'm like, this looks extremely boring. It's too slow. You're just like... Ugh. And like the little jump you do, like a bunny hop, like whatever. Give me 90 mile per hour strafe jumping, please. Leaping across an entire map in one bound. <laughs> Let's kill the dragon. Oh my god, so much fire. I need fire immunity too. That's what I need. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. 300 mana. We're going to go to the tower and get another wand. Wand of uh, multitudes. Finally get a better teleport wand going. <clears throat> Electric arc is fun. I want to play around with that some more in this run. And then... Nothing else. I don't want to use inventory space for anything else. Um, we have to kill uh, Meatball soonish. So I can lift the uh, Me Realm curse. So I can explore the Me Realm. Ow. And uh, hopefully find long distance cast. A bunch of them, like three or four. I think I need four of them. Yeah, I solved the eyes this morning, actually. <laughs> no, no, the eyes have not been solved yet. Probably won't be solved for, for a little while, unfortunately. It's gonna be one of those things where like, <laughs> we, uh, I say that, like, nope, they're not solved yet. And then in an hour, they're solved. Somebody's going to have some kind of breakthrough, and then they're going to be solved like that. But until then, no, there have there have not been any of those gigantic breakthroughs. Okay. 
much to the detriment of my sanity. And everyone else's sanity. So, okay, so we gotta see if the, uh, nothing. We gotta see if the, uh, the puzzle structure is in this. How? In this vault. I'm just gonna burn to death because now I have 3000 HP with no fire immunity. Lovely. Oh, yes. Look at that damage. Ow. Can you stop? Stop it. You. It's you. All right. Bruh. What the hell? Jeez. Um, hang on. Gotta shut down real quick. The game just kind of did a weird pause. Uh. Back up real fast. Because if I crash at all, wait, then I gotta, if I die, the run is over, but if I crash, then we gotta restore the backup. Those are my rules. Does gate opener actually do anything secret? We don't know. Probably not. It's, it is weird though that they added uh, a recipe to make it and then the ability to make Australium with it. Okay. Yeah, I played the fine a little bit of the fine <clears throat> the finals. It was pretty good. Pretty good. I recently uninstalled it. I don't know. I just I used to play all that stuff. For hours and hours on end. I never played WoW. What I played was like Quake. You know, for many, many hours. But now, at this point, I don't really have time to do that. It's like, if I was the type of content creator who was like a variety guy only, or just did like Let's Plays, or didn't stick to like... You know, I'm, I'm going to be branching out even more. Obviously, I've been making Animal Well stuff. I'm working on video essays for other games. But I still, with all that said, I still spend thousands of hours playing, like, one game. If I was, like, making first-person shooter content, then then I'd be able to, but... I miss it. I'd like to. Maybe maybe every now and then I'll do a a stream of something else like first person shooter. I don't know. All right. Let's check the uh Holy Mountain first. Let's see if we got fire immunity. I will take nice. Nah, gate opener doesn't really dig like that. It evaporates too quickly. Oh, I need a light shot. We got iron stomach. All right, one of my necessary perks for this run. All right, hang on, hang on. Iron stomach. So now I can start getting infinite poly immunity. Hell yeah. Uh, huh. Light shot. Definitely need that. Um, eh. I want that too for a certain build. I'm probably going to have to drop some of the stuff, but because that's none of the stuff I really, really need. All right. Still no fire immunity. I want to go back up here and check to see if uh, the puzzle structure spawned in here. Because I want, I really want to get the broom wand. It's like one of the major goals. 
so let's go all the way. I should probably play a little bit slower. Kill everything as I see them. Avoid fire. <laughs> I said avoid fire. Do, 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 do. Because gate opener, maybe there's a secret area with magic wall somewhere in a parallel world or one of the works. It's possible. I, all this time, all these whatever, ever since early access, I've been hoping that there was like even just one pixel of uh, brick wall, magic, I mean, a uh, creepy liquid emitter someplace in the world. And you just are randomly in some parallel world someplace. And you ignite this one pixel or or more and then all of a sudden all this creepy liquid starts forming that would be awesome i would be i would be happy with uh like maybe some some weird rock structure in a in a far parallel world like 512 parallel worlds over at the far lands and then uh yeah, just some weird monolith and s setting it on fire spawns creepy liquid legitimately. Yo, I need that too. Oops. Need Tinker as well. Tinker would be nice. Um, I guess we're going to get rid of that. I need all this stuff. Damn it. I guess I could put that there. Maybe. Eh, it's gonna... Alright. Boom. Nice. I didn't even see you shoot. The vault has to be the most annoying place in the game if you don't have any immunities. <laughs> I mean, I could have lightning immunity right now or electric immunity, but I'm opting to not take it for eventual more power. I gotta suffer now so that eventually we, every type of damage basically heals me. Blah. Oh my god. I didn't even see him shoot, that Uko. It's like his attack went through the wall or something. But I am a little bit tired from streaming so long. Because I didn't see that shoot either. <laughs> mm -hmm. The updates to the game broke it, so I had to restart. Nice. Yeah, first the uh, epilogue 2 update happened. So like the 100 hour alchemy run. I had to restart and then I was like 20 hours into the next one. And then there was another update that added new materials that broke that one. So. Here we are. Hopefully now... Hopefully there are no more updates to the game. No. Hopefully there's just no new materials added. The, adding new materials is what broke it. So as long as there's no new materials added, we'd be... We'll, we're good. Ow.
Oh boy. I'm getting real fed up with fire. You have to hit me right into it. Come on, man. Jeez. Ugh. <laughs> nice. We got fizzle and infestation. Two infestations on the same wand. At least we have Mimicium now. Exactly. Yep. You take more damage from every type of Everything that does damage over time, which includes fire, poison, and toxic sludge, you take more damage the more max HP you have. So if you have no fire immunity and you get, say I had 100,000 HP, I would be dead from fire very quickly. <laughs> and like, if you have toxic, or if I had, if I didn't have gas blood and I got stained with toxic sludge, then each damage tick from toxic sludge would be pretty huge that's why it's good to not raise your hp too much if you don't have any of those immunities <laughs> but yeah fire it it, do, it goes faster and faster the more hp you have more max hp so in a way yeah i do have a fire weakness Yep. That's why, like, not getting fire immunity and, like, being here. So, oh, So bad. But I really want to look for this structure. We're almost finished. I don't think it's going to be here, but... With fire, it goes faster. With toxic sludge, toxic sludge won't go faster. I have immunity to it, but... It doesn't tick faster, toxic sludge, but it the damage ticks are much higher. Fire is like... Mega speedy, the more HP you have.
at least we got heals. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I'm going to get out of here soon. Goodbye, Ambrosia. Okay. Meh. I'm sure I'll find it in a, in another parallel world. For now, I let's get the hell out of here. Meh. Almost got dunked right into that portal. I don't think it was here, the puzzle structure. But, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just going to look around in Temple of the Art a little bit. See if I can find any of these. Oh, we got to kill the, the gate boss. Potentially get really good spells from that. I mean, I want one of these, but I'm probably going to end up dropping that. Whatever. All right, let's put eggs. A little bit of egg on there. Nice. Alright. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, thank you. Give me that stank. Mmm, yummy. Alright. Nice. <laughs> All right, cool. There we go. Let's see. Please give me at least one of... Oh, that's cool. I already have a couple of those, though. And I could buy those down in hell. Touch of blood? Oh my god, sir. What the hell? Hey. That's, uh... Pretty unfortunate. Oh, seeing eyes, such a troll. Yeah. Fire deals damage equal to 2% of your max HP each second. So it can ramp up very quickly if your HP pool is astronomical. Yep. I actually have some video footage recorded. I think I maybe have used it in a video already of having like broken HP, infinite HP and no fire immunity and showing how fast it ticks down. It's fun. I mean, you have astronomical HP, but you also get damaged very quickly. Oh god, man. Um, I guess... So I don't want to fully explore so many parallel worlds like this. I'm gonna go to one more. Let's go to west one. I'm gonna jump into a portal. We're in east one right now. Let's go to west one. Just look at the holy mountains real fast, I guess, and then uh, call it a day, maybe. Ow.
Haven't even found a piercing yet. I mean, I guess I could go to the... I don't feel like looking through uh, the uh, Walmart right now here. Oh my god. This, uh, the fire. The fire is, like, breaking my spirit. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have, like, a repelling cape or anything. And yeah, it does speed you up. It does, yeah. That's why a lot of speedruns, at least in the beginning, you just purposefully set yourself on fire. Fire also causes stains to drop faster. So if you do have fire immunity, it's a good way to... If you have any other stain on you that you want to get rid of very quickly, just stand on top of fire. But by that point... I mean, if you get fire immunity really early, as your first perk or something... I haven't really ever used that much... Like, oh, I gotta, I'm to I'm toxic, I gotta drop this toxic stain very quickly. Whoops, I'm supposed to jump into a portal. Nice. Alright. Working on an immersive crazy boss for the inf infinitely looping power plant chunk. Yo, nice. Also finished a hypnotizing lava boss. I saw, I look at uh, Shiba's Discord often, so that's why I see you post some stuff. In fact, I look at every single Discord that I'm on every day, but like I speed read or just like speed scroll through Discord. So like everything on the Animal Well Discord I look at every day. But just very quickly. I do the same thing with like Noita Discord. And then personal Discords like Sheba's and Dad Wrestlers and stuff. Mine. <laughs> I just like a lot, a little bit of time each day to just like... Oh, whoops. I don't want to... Alright. You just... You're spoiled. Hmm. Just a little bit. Are any of you over at Alias's stream also? How's the, uh... If you are, and you hear me at all, or if you watched it earlier, how's the uh, PvP tournament going? I still want to be part of the next one. I was supposed to do... I was supposed to be a part of this one. But I completely forgot. Alright, let's just dig up a lot here. Alright. There's some really cool lava shifting checks. So it only it works normally even if you shift lava or solidified lava. Um, right now I'm just checking the Holy Mountains in a parallel world right, uh, to try to find some spells. Maybe a couple perks. I'm looking for a telekinetic kick and fire immunity. Especially, but maybe also melee immunity. Oh, I forgot to get the, the Wand of Multitudes. Oh well. But uh, this is the tail end of a stream. I'm getting ready to 
get out of here within the next like half hour or so. Oh yeah, it's real nice when when you have especially 3300 HP and you don't have fire immunity yet. And you're searching the vault for a, the puzzle structure in order to try to get the broom wand. And you're just burning to a crisp. <laughs> Ow. Spicy. Right. I had Ambrosia, but whatever. Lazy. <laughs> Good night, Keith. I it's it's only seven PM here. I haven't even eaten yet. I'm not, I'm not going to bed quite yet, but yo, this is here. Yes. Come here, my little scorpion friends. Don't you like music? Look at them. They enjoy the music. Do you like the music? I like the music very much. Groovy. The mass? I already killed Master of Masters. We're not looking for any spells that he drops right now. I don't need any of that stuff yet. Again. I need spells that most people don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stuff I need the most. <laughs> it's like vacuum. Vacuum field is a very important spell that I really need. And uh, I don't even remember what else. As soon as I see other spells that I need, I need piercing. Piercing I could probably find if I really look for it, but I'm like so tired right now that I just don't feel like looking in some spots. Ah. Oh, look at that. We got Tinker with Wands everywhere and maybe melee immunity too. Can you die? I'm on fire. Stop it. Ow. <laughs> Why am I on fire? All the time. We're going to have to go to like West Hen to get fire immunity in this run. All right. Good. Finally. Okay. Melee immunity. Very nice. Oh, I need this. So I need to... Oh, we have room. Okay. Yeah, I think it's really interesting that the uh, scorpions have different... Like, question mark and, that, like, different and hearts over their heads when, when you play the music. Only from the music machine. It's really interesting to me. Uh, let me just go check the Holy Mountains first. And the Eye Room and... Uh, stuff. Oh, we got, the, we got the perks we need except for fire immunity. I needed telekinetic kick as well. Hell yes. Okay. Um, probably more love. Although, maybe not. Yo, I got some chainsaws. I want those. Whoops. Um, whoops. Oh. Ugh. I'm going to save it for that because I want to want to improve a bunch of wands later in the run. Including the starting wands, maybe. Maybe the chain. I mean, not the chain. Maybe the chainsaw wand. Oh, 
What a dummy. I could just use the chainsaw wand, but I need more slots on it. That's right. But if we do find a uh, high mana, low capacity, or I mean, uh, the other one, <laughs> extra wand capacity, then I will uh, go kill the meatball, grab the chainsaw, and then we could increase the capacity of that. And then I can use that to give myself projectile healing. Yo, okay. We got fire immunity. Now we just need the spells. It's going to take me 30 hours to find the spells. Hopefully not. All right, that's fine. That's all good. All right. So we got every perk we need. Well, saving grace and extra lives. Probably. Definitely saving grace. All right. Nice. Let's go to the eye room. To celebrate, I'm also going to put... Oh, yeah, I have Tinker. I don't even need this anymore. I could drop that and forget about it. Uh... Oh. Slap that on there. So now we can make... A heart. <laughs> Wait, where... There we go. With the power of love. <laughs> I need food. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm starving and my brain is starving as well. So I'm like, hur, hur. funny times. <laughs> Look, it's a heart. Isn't that funny? Anyway. <laughs> I'll tell you this once more, you have an amazing, soothing voice. Thank you, Keith. Sometimes when, I, when I'm when i losing it, though, it gets really hoarse. And I think, uh, personally, I think it becomes... I, I like... Never mind. Anyway, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Ow. I don't have to care. Like, fuck fire. What's. <gasps> uh, don't die. Get rid of this. Who cares about that? <gasps> Did it die? It didn't die. I need. Stop it. Go away. Stay right there. Don't. Nothing kill you. I must. Can you stain them? Yeah, you can. Duh. So technically, they don't have much HP, though. Never mind. Well, if you don't find Pheromone, which we're going to go get right now. I forgot. I threw... Please don't die. Just stay right there. It's, there's bombs. <laughs> I, already <clears throat> I already have Sea of Mimicium at home. We don't need that one. <laughs> uh, rip. That was the game telling me, stick to the game plan. Have a heart. Sort of. Alright. I would like... That? Okay. I do need uh, this chunk of soil for alchemy, I guess. Oops. Could get that anytime. Not really concerned about gold. It's just some of these spells are going to be really hard to find, so... Chunk of soil isn't really, but... I don't... I'm not going to need... Uh, spells to power for a long time. And that you can find all over hell, pretty much. Alright. If 
Kill the dragon. Yeah, they have a 5% or maybe not that much. They have a low chance to drop the spell when they die. Uh... Oh, I don't have explosion immunity, never mind. But I have a bunch of HP. I was just gonna shoot that. Out of frustration. <laughs> uh, no. Alright, we're gonna... Check this holy mountain. Kill the gate boss. And then, uh... Hmm. Uh... I don't know, man. Oh. Oh! But we have this. Oh! Oh my god. End vacuum field. Yo, okay. Hell yes. We don't need that, I guess. We'll find that again. Damn, man. Save the best for last. Uh, except I still need piercing. Alright. What do I not need at all? I guess I could... Whatever. We need, like, materials, like poison trail for alchemy. Explosive projectile. Do that. Uh, the eggs. Well, I'm going to keep that on there for now. All right. Um, I need a double cast. I need that. That's one of the most important spells for me. For moving Kolmisilma to the area where I'm going to build. Because then we can start doing fast travel by using a dormant crystal with trigger with return in it. For now, let me take that off. Uh, all right. I hope that they they do uh, work on some more bug fixes and stuff because performance in the vault has definitely dropped after this most recent update. Okay, we got it here. Oh, nice. So, teleportation or ambrosia. All right, let's find that. I'm going to dig straight down right here. Oh, oh it's fire. And now we're going to get the broom wand. And I didn't just jinx it by saying that. <laughs> Only I could find some... One of these materials. Oh, let's go up here for the corner. Hell yeah. See, like, spend an hour or whatever not finding anything we need, and then all of a sudden I find all the perks I need, except for saving grace. And a bunch of spells we need. Or at least the, the vacuum field was very, very important.
Nice. Rip. Well, I could get, we could go to the, oh, I need this too. I have Homebringer. I need Swapper. Yeah. All right. I guess we're going to maybe go down here. We need... Okay, so teleportation, unstable teleportation, or ambrosia. Yeah, of course I don't have a pouch. I could make... I would be able to make ambrosia with the pouch. Womp womp. I had a pouch earlier, but I threw it out. I also had ambrosia earlier, <laughs> but I trashed that. It was almost empty, I think, when I saw the uh, flask mimic. Yeah, it's, I mean, we could find Telly right here, actually. I just need a flask. Derp-de-doo. We don't want to use these teleporters anyway. Of course, all the flasks are now going to be broken. Maybe let's just check down. Check Holy Mountain first. Plenty. I always forget to just, like, take teleportation from the eyes. Nice. Another light shot. I'm not going to take the explosion immunity. I need weakening curse explosion. Well, maybe we should. Eh. Hmm. Very tempting. I'd rather just, like, have explosions... Electricity and projectiles all healing me than just like becoming immune to it. So I'm gonna not take that yet. Oh, look, this was a flask right here of what I needed. Beautiful. Hey, could it? I think I was in Meat Realm earlier when my HP dropped to like 200 something, so we gotta be careful when killing the meatball. But he's easy to get to. He's at the very bottom, bottom left corner, so pretty much. You don't really have to go through the biome to reach him. Thanks, Faisal. It's just a rainbow... Uh, ping pong lumi. Ping pong luminous drill. Eventually, we're going to use long dis... We're going to use long distance cast instead. You could... You could increase... You could increase the lifetime of long distance cast and add damage to it. And then... You, you could do this, except it doesn't destroy anything. You could just basically, like, wall hack and kill things through walls without actually digging. And I want that for this run because I'm trying to not break a lot of things. Because I uh, am crazy. Because I, I'm, I want to uh, try to 
not break a bunch of flasks. I need flasks. That's no, fine. Let's kill the, uh... Triangle boss while we're here. Still looking for piercing, still looking for, like... Not that. <laughs> summon... Summon wall, summon platform. Weakening curse explosion, weakening curse project... I mean, I have projectile. We can incurse electricity. Ow. Oh, I'm, I also needed, like, just a double cast. I threw out all of my multicasts, pretty much, to carry all this other stuff. Come on, man. Ah, oh, that was horrible. Meh. So that boss can drop any spell in the game. Because there are a lot of spells that you can only get from certain things that they won't spawn on wands or whatever. So killing the triangle boss is like if you're looking for specific spells, that's one of the good ways to do it. That in the eye room. All right, so we have a flask. Yep, any anytime you need to drop a spell, that's a kind of a newer feature from the last uh, last major update. It was added in the beta, like almost a year ago now, but the main branch it was like pretty new. Uh... Whoops. Oh, I need, like, horizontal path. There's a lot of stuff I need. But again, looking for spells is... Even as time-consuming as it might seem now... It's like nothing compared to the amount of time we're going to be doing with other things. This is uh, for anyone who didn't see me talking about it earlier. Uh, this is like uh, the alchemy run. I'm going to be collecting every single material in the game. We're building a lab and all this stuff. I already started a run like this a while ago, but then the... the update broke it and I had to start over so this is gonna be you know probably at least a several hundred hour long run they're uh, a little bit unstable you wanna when you're going through parallel worlds you wanna try to do a mod restart every now and then to avoid crashing. Wait, one more. Just like shut the game down, back up your save or something when you're going through parallels. All right. Perfect. Now we're looking for the puzzle structure, which should be kind of on this side. Someplace, maybe. Forgot exactly where it was. There it is. Hell yeah. Get off me. Get me in there. Get in there. All right. 
please. We're looking for the broom. The Varpaluta. <gasps> oh my god! Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Alright. Now somebody's gonna take it and run away with it and it's gonna despawn. So we are going to drop like this right there yo and i needed a phasing arc too look at that i mean the charge speeds is not the greatest but that's a pretty damn nice wand hell yeah you die get out of my face dummy all right you die too all of you gonna die because i don't care anymore <laughs> <laughs> um geez where do i put this stuff for now i've got i need a we need to go to the tower and then i'm gonna stop for today so all right we're gonna put the hmm Put our black holes and I guess this stuff on here. Yo. Amazing. Doesn't matter. I just I needed it for the for the special ability to mix potions. So we're gonna use it not only to remove stains and clean clean the lab. <laughs> when I start staining it with random crap. I don't know, whatever. We're gonna sweep out the base after I build, base build, but also we can mix our uh, stuff with it. Hell yeah, dude. All right, now get rid of that, uh, whoops. And take that, all right, cool. And then we're gonna replace this wand now. Nice. Man, I want all of this stuff. Or sh I mean, maybe we we should have maybe bought the uh, Master of Masters again, I guess. But it's fine. Just for another uh, wand refresh or something. All right, now I'm not going to die. I'm not gonna reroll. That'll be there. If I if I'm looking for a specific perk later, we'll have cheap rerolls right there. I don't know if I'm gonna break rerolls. For now though, that'll be like I don't want to go through too many parallels. Um I need to build a parallel world travel wand, you know, long distance travel. Alright. So Now we're just going to go to the top of the tower. Just to get the Wand of Multitudes so that I can start building a nice, actual, like, rapid teleporter wand. And then we're going to go raid Alias. Hopefully, I, he should be going a while longer. I think he, he usually streams later, so... And he's doing, like, a big... Noita PvP tournament. Hell yes. We found, like, took a little bit of time, but I found Vacuum Field, which, you know, I need Vacuum Field in order to move the boss. We're not gonna, like, aggro Colmy. We're just gonna move him to the area that I'm gonna build my laboratory in. But that'll be next time, because I'm pretty finished right now. Uh, I 
my uh my vocal cords are pretty sore i'm like uh. but first maybe hmm. yeah let me not do this right now let's just go for the tower um where is my position we gotta go through this wall I'm building my lab right underneath the teleporter room next to the jungle so the reason why I'm gonna drag I'm using vacuum field to drag Colmy we're gonna gourd Colmy too he needs to be gourded he doesn't need to be but I want him to be drag him down I'm gonna like black hole build a, ca a cave down there beneath the teleporter room and then we're gonna use uh dormant crystal with trigger with a return on it so whenever I'm at my base I cast that and then wherever I am I also need an explosive detonator I don't think I found one of those um no matter how far away I get I could just cast explosive detonator to immediately teleport back to my base my lab and then we'll be right underneath all those other teleporters to uh, access the entire rest of the world immediately. That's... It's like the perfect place for a base. All right. And if you didn't know about this, right at the edges of chunks, so like typically, you know, if I go over here, if you touch Cursed Rock, it does damage. But also there's a, there's a damage field, but right at the uh, border of chunks, like right at the edge of this, you can just fall straight down without taking any damage to get tower wands easily. Such as the Wand of Multitudes, which is what we're going to use as our teleporter wand. Sweet. Nope. Oh, stop that. Nala. Alright, so I need... I have no multicasts, so whatever. Okay. For now, that's that. Uh, chainsaws. Whoops. Put the chainsaws on there just to speed it up a little bit. All right. We got it. There we go. Back to the main world. Yeah, back to the main world. Yeah. I should... I'm, I'll move whatever I can move to the, to the base. All right, I'm just going to end it right here.